Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to try out a product that I have been wondering about for a really long time. We are going to try out this eyebrow stamp by KISS. <laughs> So it is kind of a funny product, but essentially it is a brow stamp and then you dip it into this like brown powder and you just stamp on that brow there. <laughs> on this package, I got this from Amazon for $8.99 and it says that just be sure your skin is moisturized with primer or liquid foundation. So if you can tell, I already have my face on liquid foundation, just missing the brows now. And then you pat on the pressed powder with the stamp. You position the stamp on your brow bone to determine placement and then gently place the stamp against the skin and press and then you touch up if needed. And in case I need to touch up, I brought what I usually do my brows with. This is the MAC eyeshadow in espresso. This is the Milk Kush Fiber gel in grind. And then this is my current favorite eyebrow brush. It has a angled brush on one end and then the spoolie on the other and this is by BS Mall. I just did a review of the Amazon's best-selling brush set and I will be sure to link that video for you below if you want to check that out. Let's go ahead and dive in and then just see what happens. Let's hope that it doesn't ruin my entire look for the day. <laughs> okay, so it just like opens up like this okay cool so it comes with two stamps one for the right brow and then one for the left so it's two little spongy stamps so I guess this is just the one shape this is a universal shape for all brows apparently and then in here is the powder and the stamps go right in here and open it up and okay. So here's this powder and it actually is pretty similar color to the MAC Espresso. It's a little bit lighter, but this is their dark brown. It is kind of funny that this is just like the universal shape for everyone. It actually looks kind of long. Let me see just visually how I feel about this. Um, okay, well, it is kind of the length of my brow, but I feel like my brow is definitely more thick than this. This is pretty thin, but we'll just see kind of what happens. And I bet you I could just like use a spoolie to brush it out and maybe we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the right brow and I'm just going to go in here and make sure. Oh, it covered with color pretty quickly. Let me just zhuzh it in here to get it evenly coated. Oh gosh, hopefully I'm just like evenly coating the sponge, but hopefully it's not going to be too dark. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> These brow stamps are always causing me some stress. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to how do I kind of, it's kind of hard to see, but I mean, I guess it's good that the stamp is clear. Just position. Oh gosh, I have no idea, but I just kind of positioned it to the middle of my brow and then it just says to gently press. So we'll see what's happening. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it definitely worked it, if you like this brow shape, but I don't think I like this brow shape, you guys. Oh God, this is an interesting brow shape. Okay, well, it definitely worked in terms of like getting the color. It like, the stamp works. The color and the stamp works. But the problem is, this is the only shape we gotta work with. and. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, we'll see if we can touch it up and fix that. But let's see. I like the color of the powder though. So we got that. <laughs> okay, so going in with the left brow, trying to get it evenly coated. Okay, evenly coated. Okay, now we gotta make sure that we can get them to 
match and be even. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is this is hard. This is definitely harder with the left side. Oh no. Okay. I I didn't position it properly. Pressing, pressing gently. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I definitely can't leave it like this. I can't, I can't do it. Um, okay. So, first thoughts. I think it would just take a little bit of practice to kind of make sure you know how to place the stamps. I actually think I would kind of like this if I liked the shape of the brows more. So if this is kind of like the general shape of your brow, then maybe this could be like a quick thing for you to do. But I definitely am going to have to like touch it up because this just isn't really the shape of the brows that I usually do. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the spoolie end to brush it out to soften the edges a little bit. Okay, so using the spoolie to soften the edges a little bit. So not only did I brush up, but I also kind of like dragged to the side a little bit and that definitely helps blur like harsh lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go in with the angle brush into the powder and then I'm going to draw some faux brow hairs to make the brows a little bit thicker, which is kind of the style that I'm wearing right now. All right, so I am pretty happy with how they look so far. I must say that I really like this powder because it is actually pretty pigmented and it is a really big bang for your buck. So for example, this is six grams versus this is the MAC eyeshadow for 1.5 grams. And then this I believe is like $18 where this whole thing was $8.99 plus the stamps. So I will definitely continue to use this powder because it I like the color and it went on really nicely. And just to finish off the brows, I am going to just use the Milk Fiber Gel to brush through the brows so then they stand up and look a little bit more fluffy. All right, so the brow gel definitely does make a difference, makes my brows look fluffier and they stand kind of more up and definitely like how full they look. All right, so final thoughts. I think it is kind of silly, these brow stamps. I feel like they're a little bit hard to use and get like the perfect brow shape that works for everybody and kind of like placement and stuff. But I think like if you're into this kind of thing and you like this shape of brow, it will just take a couple practices to kind of make sure you get the positioning right. But I feel like I probably won't continue to use the stamps just because the brow shape doesn't really work for me. And I feel like it kind of added an extra step instead of making it easier because after I did the brow stamp, I went through with this to draw in the faux brow hairs to make my eyebrows look thicker anyway. And normally I just have been doing the two steps where I go in with this and the eyeshadow and then I finish off with the brow gel. So this time, because the stamps didn't work super well for me, I had to, it was like an extra step and then I had to touch up and then do the brow gel anyway. But I am pretty excited because this powder is pretty nice. I like the color and it is really pigmented, easy to use, very similar to using an eyeshadow. That's why I like to use a MAC eyeshadow 
eyeshadow because it's so easy to use and build the color and I love how pigmented it is versus like some of like the waxier brow pomades and stuff I feel like you never get it as dark as you want it or I never get it as dark as I want it <laughs> but hey if you like this brow shape I suggest giving it a try because then you can just go stamp and then just like kind of like brush it through and use a little bit of brow gel and like okay that would be it so anyway I'm glad that I gave it a try I've seen it online for a while and I was just like tempted by the price and wanted to see how it would work for me but I will continue to use the powder as always in the description box below I will be sure to link all these products that I use today and then I also will link a couple videos for you below like the Amazon brushes that I tested out and the other brow stamp that I gave a try as well as my brow tutorial in general. I will be sure to link those all in the description box below. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them. But again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It was fun to finally test this one out. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell if you haven't already so you know when I post my next video. But as always, please be sure to take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you guys next week. Bye!